Right, there you go. Ouch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. I'm, uh, I'm going. Hey, what's going on guys? It's JC and welcome back to the front. Uh, today, we're going to be checking out the uh, the main menu because there's a few things I want to check up since the last time we played. Um, first off is the account warehouse. So I got this cosmetic crate, which I didn't even open yet. Uh, so let's check this out. Nice. I got a bandit assault rifle, blood tiger skin. Cool. I wonder if this carries on to the single player. That would be nice if we were able to use it. But uh, let's go to the settings. So the settings we have... This has already been there. But I think they added uh, key binds. Which they didn't have last time. So if you guys needed to check out the key bindings. So just go to the key bindings now. Which is nice. So... I guess uh, they're slowly fixing certain things as it, as the game progresses, right? And let's go to create hosted. Confirm. So this is my this was my first game. Uh, everything is still the same besides drop item on death. I I'm playing solo, so I don't want to drop anything just for the sake of sometimes I'm like when I'm recording, I don't want to like. If I die, I don't want to end up having to like go all the way back or you know, just trying to get my items just for the sake of the videos, right? Um, so it's a little bit easier on me and for some people that basically play co-op because I did play with my friend and um, what we found out is that when starting a server or you know, create a solo slash hosted game what the game tends to the basic settings that uh, that's basically missing like you guys would need to add this start serving using p2p mode so if you check that then it'll work if you don't have that checked it won't show up when somebody is trying to join your server or your friend for instance and you know of course you guys put a password um but everything else is pretty much default I wanted to increase these things eventually because uh, you know I'm playing solo so if you guys have any tips on um, the amount that's a good amount then you know you uh, feel free to put it in the comments below but I'll probably be doing some testing and also with the taming and stuff so um, without further ado guys instead of listening to me explain the server settings again uh, let's get right into it. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, we're back in, and we are inside our territory, which is where my flag is. So after playing with um, some sessions with my friend, um, what I realized is that where I started isn't really ideal because. You know, for me, I like to loot, right? So, um, where I've played when I was playing with him, we were like based up around here. So I really like this re location because you have like a bunch of looting areas and sometimes you can go raid the towns or the, um, you know, for loots from the bandits or whatever. And for here, it's so like, there's not much besides uh, from checking online maps like people who made the the maps are actually like you know who cleared out the whole map and i guess they made a map out of it uh there is a like a looting location here but today what i have plans for is probably i'm gonna move my location to somewhere maybe about here closer to this lake because i think have having a lake near you is a little bit better than being right off the coast right and having more loot locations just to you know just to keep you busy and sometimes if you don't want to do uh, those defenses or whatever you can just go looting but one thing I didn't check is that I'm not sure if you could drink this water 
I don't... I don't think you can drink this water though. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, sea water. Okay, let's try this. I hope I don't get sick. Oh, okay. So I guess we can drink sea water. <laughs> I guess there's no uh, salt content that's gonna make you dehydrated. Uh, okay. But yeah, guys, this is my basic base. Um, I kind of spent a lot of time building my basic base. And then now I'm ending up wanting to move to somewhere here. Which is going to be a little bit tough because there seems to be a wall or something here. I don't know if I could get through. Okay, but I think um, that's the plan for today. But not only that, um, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys either watch some YouTubers or if you guys haven't, then there's a little bit of a tip uh, to increase your field of view, I believe. They press the, the key that's right beside number one on your keyboard. And that'll bring up this menu. So let's press that. And then you type in field of view. And then you type in the number 120 and press enter. Then you would get this better field of view. 120 is so much better. So if you guys didn't know, uh, well, you got that little tip here, but also, you know, th there are a few other YouTubers that made a video of this already. I'm just adding it in just in case if you guys didn't know about it. Okay, so basically this is my basic base, which I spent quite some time building. Um, but I mean, I gotta, I gotta move. So with that, I'm gonna probably grab some things that I would need probably yeah I don't think I, I'll be needing anything uh, let's see let's grab some food oh yeah to divide the stacks right click hold right click and drag that's one thing that uh, that got me so confused in the beginning I did not understand how to do it so let's cook some food before we leave and I'm gonna cook some meat too, just in case, you know, just in case, uh, on the road, you never know. It's gonna be some trekking. I'm gonna be doing some trekking just to get there. Okay, so like, I don't understand why it costs two trout just to make one uh, grilled fish. There's probably a setting or something that could be fixed. Um, but, you know what, I'm just gonna take everything that I need. And let's go. Alright, so off we go, guys. Uh, goodbye. First territory. I, I wonder if I need to break down my territory. Oh, well. I'll just leave it for now. I hope. Okay, you know what? Actually, I know that in certain games, it messes around with uh, the game if you don't destroy your territory. Or, I guess, like certain things so let's uh let's see if we can destroy this thing i'll destroy it just in case and i'm gonna take that long trek and try to get to this location guys so i don't think you guys want to watch me walk from here all the way to there so <laughs> i'll see you guys in a second if there's something that popped up along the way uh, it'll be in the video for sure i'll be sh showcasing it but uh most likely, I'll just be running there at the moment. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, okay, guys. Uh, we got to this. I think it looks like a harbor. Uh, from a distance, it looks like a harbor. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing any looting in here because uh, the last thing I want to do is get myself killed and end up uh, respawning near my base or something. But when I was playing with my friend, all I know that um, when we did die, we just died at uh, where we are standing. So I'm going to try to make my way around this harbor. And I'm pretty sure there is NPCs, enemy NPCs in here. 
But we're just gonna take a quick look guys. I'm just gonna showcase you guys real quick. Yeah, there's the guy over there. Yeah. I don't know if that's like an enemy or is it just a wandering NPC? But most of these NPCs, they're dangerous. So let's check in this house. Any loots in this house since we're here? Okay, I'm in close combat, so let's uh, switch. Okay, these are not lootable. Oh man, Romer. Okay. He just spawned out of nowhere. I guess it took some time to for him to spawn. Okay, let's grab whatever we can and let's get out. I don't want to stay in here for too long, guys. Last thing I want to do is get killed in here. I didn't bring in enough tape to make any bandages, so. Oh boy. Yeah, they're spawning in right now. Okay, so. Not sure if the safest way is to go through town or is it through the woods? I think it's through the woods. So I'm gonna make my trek around it right now, guys. And I don't don't wanna get involved with fighting any of these. Oh man, I hope these deers are docile. Cause in the other game that I played, <laughs> deers could end up uh attacking you yeah so we're just gonna go along the cliff side so that you guys can have a view of what the harbor looks like what I still want is that the developers should add a pause uh, especially in single player it, it, it'd be nice if you're able to pause um, because, you know, sometimes I need to take a break, a quick break from uh, playing a little bit or I need to stay in one position a little bit. And instead of getting myself killed in single player, I would like to pause. I wonder if they have it. Pause. Let's see. Oh. You can pause. Okay. Now, how do I unpause? Great. Okay. So that's how you pause, guys. Yeah, okay. So the pause work, guys. Um, the timer stops, everything stops. You can't move. So that's good. Uh, so the command console, there's a lot of uses for them. Especially if you're playing solo like me. Or on single player. Of course, it's... A little bit cheap compared to if you guys play on multiplayer, but in solo, pretty much, we some of us need it, right? Like as as content creators, we need it. But yeah, with that, guys, uh, that's the harbor right there. I'm just gonna go around it and start heading to the location that I want to go to, and hopefully. I don't run into any issues trying to get there because last thing I want is to get killed so I'll see you guys in a second all right okay guys so we got to the location where I wanted to be and it was it's around here basically we're behind us is like a little lake or a little pond I guess there's some looting locations around like this quarry over here and this house it has like some loots inside and the surrounding areas like those uh, electrical pulse or those electrical you know, whatever they are they have these uh, loots there too so as you guys can see there's loot there and there so you guys could do some looting in the area and also we have the town over there that we could go into but I placed down my concrete foundations already just to get started on some type of uh, base and also I'm going to be placing down my storage box just to get started. I need some room. So I'm going to drop some things and I'm going to start building around the base guys and uh, we're we'll probably once it gets to daytime or something or a little bit brighter or better we'll, we'll go off and go into town and I'll show you some looting. 
or at least some fights <laughs> so let me just get this done and i'll see you guys in a second okay good morning guys we're back it's six in the morning and the sun is about to come up i uh, got some of the foundations down and my territory flag crafting table let's uh get started on some of the things like uh let's see should have made some bandages i'll make some more oh no i didn't need that much let's get started on that i'll drop off some of the duct tape in here because i don't need okay actually you know what? I'll, I'll leave it until it's done crafting uh also most important sleeping bag let's place that sleeping bag I'm not going to be finishing off my base today because uh, for the sake of the video, it's going to take way too long just for me to build the walls and roof. So probably you guys will see my finished product in the next video. But for now, instead of just watching boring crafting and stuff like that, you guys will probably know all these things already. Uh, let's get right into trying to loot or maybe even fight off some enemies in there but uh yeah let me just show you guys there's like this house over here that has loot so let's head on over here let's see i, don't, I haven't like explored much of the area but whatever is close to that lake i pretty much kind of covered uh also these abandoned cars they drop iron uh so oh, oh what is that what is that? That's... Oh boy. Okay. See? This is what I mean, guys. Oh boy. These things are dangerous. Look at that. It's taking like so many shots and it's not even dead yet. Boxes are dangerous in the beginning. man back up especially when you have like a bunch of them come on buddy look at it. it sounds like like it was like a tiger or something thing is dangerous yeah i know boxes some of the boxes they look cute but i mean in this game they're dangerous so i had to take care of them <laughs> Oh boy, I didn't even make a bonfire. Okay, let me get started on that. We'll drop it off on the way back to make some food. Like, because I believe I'm out of food. Yes, I am. Let's uh, use some of this. Get our food back up. Uh, let's, let's just destroy this abandoned car. Oh, okay. So you get these iron ingots from them, which is nice. So you got machine parts and iron ingots. In the beginning of the game, it's not bad. Let's uh, grab this concrete foundation. Okay, I don't need all these yet. <laughs> uh, I'm just showing you guys what you guys could get from this these locations. Certain things I don't need yet. Oh, there you go. We need a ten fish. Nice. All right, so we're gonna head back to our base. I'm just gonna offload some things, place that uh, stone foundation down. Uh, no, I mean that <laughs> the bonfire down, um, so that we can start cooking some stuff. And then I'm gonna head to uh, a nearby location. Probably we'll start with that gas station over there. It's probably a little bit easier to loot. Yeah, okay, let's. Let's place this down. I'll just put it in this corner for now. Until I figure out where I want things when I build my base. So let's get started on cooking. Activate. Let's cook some fish. Oh yeah, by the way. A good thing is to get started on those uh, fish nets. Yeah, I'm not sure if I even learned it yet. Uh, let's let's try learning some of these things first 
flintlock pistols, bolas. Oh yeah, bolas are are amazing. They're very helpful. Okay, I need to learn all these things. Structure, space-time beacon. Okay, so these things are basically what starts a wave or like a yeah, basically a wave fight. And I'll get that in like eventually in the next video. Probably not this video. But yeah, I'm just trying to get through certain things right now, guys. Just a, uh, you know, quick gameplay for you guys. What I've been doing on day two. Um, fish basket. These things are good. Like to place in the water early game. It's a good source of food. Shock absorbent. We'll get into that. Yeah. So as you guys progress, the more you guys would be learning in the tech tree. So let's learn all that. Rain collector. I'm not going to need a rain collector unless it's probably useful for other things like uh, planting later on. But I have a lake right there, so I could just go there and drink some water. Okay. Uh, let's drop off some things before we start looting. Let's see, can I craft those fish? Uh, three should be enough. Grilled fish. I need some more grilled fish. I need to make some more fish. So to do that, I need to place these things now. So a good place to place them. Blue. So well, there you go, guys. Got three fish traps down. That should produce us some food. Uh, I'll probably get more down, but three should be good enough for now. All right, let's check out what's in here. Some loot in here also, guys. So these foundation. Take these. Uh, might as well. I have space right now. Egg. See, I don't understand. Why, why can't you eat it? Can I eat egg raw? Should be able to eat egg raw. Okay. Yeah, there's some sand nodes here. Uh, what's here? I, w I would have thought that there was like a waterfall or something, but there's no waterfall. Alright. Let's uh, head on over to this small house over here. Well, not small house. Kind of big. See if uh, we can fight off some enemies from a distance. I, I know that this, this area could be dangerous because there are guys with guns here. So... Hopefully, I don't get into too much trouble here. I have some bandages on me, so I should be good. Yeah, there's some bandits up there. But I'm not heading over there yet, guys. I'm gonna try to go with the easier location, which is this gas station over here. Before we head into there. Because there's those big bad guys there. Uh, I think they were called like the Iron Wolves or something. And those things, those guys, they charge at you. So here's a easier location. Let's grab some of these. There's like these uh, buckets here. So deer, deer over there. Golden gasoline. Oh, there's a bandit. Oh boy. Back up, buddy. What? Where are you going? Back up. Alright. Got some talent books from there. You carried. And you, you didn't carry that much good loot. Well, at least he, he didn't kill us, so that's a good thing. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Back off, buddy. I'll kill you. Ouch! He killed. He almost hit me. Oh. These guys are no joke. Oh, man. Leather gloves. Look at that. Oh, we're, we're able to make leather gloves already. 
That's good. That's a good loot. There was uh, this barrel over here. I think, yeah, I didn't get this barrel. Well, let's grab this one. Some wood, some more of those. Oh, not wood, stone. <laughs> and rotten flesh. Or rotten meat, whatever. Okay. Hopefully they didn't respawn again. Because sometimes these bandits, they just like respawn again and it scares me. Okay. Got some loot in here. Fish, sweet. Now we can make some more uh, grilled fish to get that quest done. See, is there anything else here? There's nobody in here. Let's open the door. Anybody in the gas station? Oh. Sweet bread. Nice. So we got some food. Let's uh let's eat. Might as well. Guess those things are gonna spoil soon. Might as well eat before they spoil. This will be a waste. Trash. There's nothing else in this gas station. Uh, oh, this one on side barrel. Scrap all that. Oh yeah, the garage area. Quite a bit of loot. Oh, more fish. Fish and bananas. Got fish and bananas. And I believe that's it. Oh, there's one out. Oh, there's so much loot right here. I'm missing. Iron pickaxe. Look at that. Nice. Let's drop that. And we're almost full, basically. We're almost full. Can I open this door? Oh, sweet. There. Now I can just go in straight in instead of going around. <laughs> Let's see if we could uh, pull this guy over here. Oh! He's coming. He's gonna come. Go, oh, buddy. Oh, boy. She looks like. Oh, it's a she. Blade fugitive. Back up. She looks like she's decked out. There you go. Let's go. Alright. So, our loot is pretty much full. Uh, just gonna eat a little bit more then. And then drink some water. Ah, uh, the trout. I need to start cooking on the trout. But yeah, let's 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 try to risk it a little bit more. Oh the talent books. That's uh we have enough for the talent books, so let's uh unlock some things. Spear or blade. Let's go with spear. I'll learn some spear skills. Oh, there's an NPC here. Oh damn, he's a gun fan. Oh boy. Ouch. See, this is the risky part of being here. You guys have these. You guys will have to fight or fend off these gun fans. Ouch. Ouch, what the hell? Where is he shooting from? It's in the water? That's cheap. Okay. Buddy, where are you, buddy? Come up. Okay, I'm not fighting him. There's no possible way I'm gonna be fighting him under the water. So I'm just gonna leave him there. I'll leave the gun fen for now. I'll let him come to me. We're just gonna go over here. See what we could do. Oh, there's a blade, blade raider. Oh yeah. 
Back up, lady. Ouch. She's almost dead. All right. Some more of these talent books. So it's a good way to level up your talents when you're raiding these places. I probably should heal up a little bit. Oh man. Damn, these freaking. Oh damn, he just moved at the right time. Good thing they have terrible aim. But I need a flint pistol or something. Ouch. Buddy. Buddy, I'm gonna I'm gonna come and stab you. What the heck? Where did he go? Ouch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. I'm uh, I'm going. Oh that took out a chunk of my health. Oh, I need to go hide somewhere. I need to go hide behind these rocks. Try to heal myself. Let's eat some fish. Heal faster. Oh, there's two of them. What? That was a hit and his health didn't go down. I should make some more stone arrows. Oh, I'm very low on stone arrows. This is not bad. This is not good. Oh, there's a guy up there. Jeez, I'm getting bad aim right now. Stop moving! Ouch. Oh man, if he hits me one more time, I'm gonna die. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take care of this guy. Let's see if I get oh. Ouch. Oh no, I died. No. I'm gonna die out. I have nobody to save me. <laughs> That's the thing with playing solo, guys. Once you're dead, you just gotta wait. See, like, the thing is that you don't revive at your sleeping bag, but you revive at the your current location. I guess the developers probably gotta fix that later on. And good thing, I don't drop everything. Because <laughs> I'm on a solo, and I, I kind of cheated with the settings. So let's uh, get back into the fight. I wonder if his health respawn. Oh, his health is still low. There you go. Dead. He's almost dead. I know it's cheap, guys, but. Ah, oh, come on. Stop moving. Oh, man. I'm, my aim is way off. There you go. He's dead. Finally. Let's go loot him. Alright, let's take care of this guy too. Might as well. Oh man, I suck. Stop moving. Ouch. I swear I'm gonna die again. Try and take care of these guys. Oh, my bow is broke. Oh, what do I need? I think I need wood. Ah!
this guy is harder than the other guy. He won't stay still. Okay, the moment they are in the water, pretty much... I can't see them anymore. Okay, yeah, no, I can't see him anymore. I'll let him come back up. Uh, he's right there. Stay still, man. Can you stay still for like one second? Oh boy. Okay, screw you. <laughs> He's not coming back up. I'm gonna move move over here a little bit more, guys. So that probably he'll he'll come back up. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh, I'm out of stone arrows. Uh oh. I need a better bull or something. Yay! Yay! I'm getting shots in. Stay still for a second. Jeez, taking me forever to kill this guy. But yeah, I guess uh, who brings a bull to a gunfight? Uh, that shouldn't be a thing. You should have been able to kill me already. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I did it. I beat it, that guy. Two gun guys. Too bad they don't drop the gun. I, I would have really liked it if they dropped like the flint pistol or something. Alright, oh boy. Okay. Alright, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm able to do this area. Uh, with just a spear and a bow at the moment because <laughs> there's too many guys with guns and probably bigger enemies like that guy over there so but I think that's it for this video guys oh see he's just shot me and there's another gun guy over there yeah but I think that's it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it or found it entertaining at least or at least helpful but if you guys do please give me a like and if you guys are new to the channel you guys want to support me Please subscribe and until next time guys, y'all take it easy.